Good morning, friends. I hope that you're doing okay on this Tuesday morning. Had to look at my watch. It is um, getting a little hard to tell the days apart when we don't have church to go to and uh, small groups and the rev regular rhythm of the week. So I hope you are all doing okay. I have uh, two stories to share with you this morning. We're gonna do Jesus in the Storm out of My Bible Friends. That is one of Holly's favorites. And then we're going to do Singing Whales out of five diff minute devotionals for children. And uh, if you need a great book for kids of any age, um, this, this is the book. If you want my recommendation for any devotional book for kids, it uh, has questions, it has Bible verses, it has beautiful pictures and short stories. Hi, Tony, welcome. And um, so if you want a book to do anything with, uh, it, it is easily taken down for toddlers and preschoolers and first graders. And then it's easier, easy to rivet up for um, grade school children and even high school um, this is a great resource for a book. KJ is there too, yay! Welcome uh, Kristen and KJ and Tony. And so we have two stories and then we also have a little object lesson. It is called The Hope and Hover. And so we're gonna talk about that as well. So let's start with Jesus and the storm. And I will flip this around so that you can see the pictures with me. Jesus stood in a boat, a fishing boat with oars and a sail, and talked to the many people who had come to hear him. All day long, Jesus told them stories. When it was evening, Jesus said to his helper, let us cross over to the other side of the lake and rest. Jesus' helpers untied the boat. They pushed it from shore and raised the sail. One man sat in the back of the boat to guide it with the steering tiller. The boat moved slowly at first and then faster across the quiet blue water. Welcome Cindy and Marilyn. A round yellow moon came up over the lake. The stars twinkled high overhead. Jesus was so very tired. He lay down with his head on a pillow and was soon sound asleep. The man at the back steered carefully. The boat sailed on and on and on. Suddenly, a fierce wind began to blow. It blew a black cloud over the moon. It blew black clouds over the stars. It whipped the water into huge, angry waves. The waves tossed the boat this way and that way and up and down. There was lightning, there was thunder. The man at the tiller tried to steer the boat, but he couldn't. The other men tried to row the boat with the oars, but they couldn't. Water filled the boat. It began to sink. The men were afraid. They woke Jesus. Lord, save us, we perish, they cried. Jesus heard their cry for help. He felt the angry wind. He saw the flashing, the lightning flash. He heard the noisy thunder. But he was not afraid. He stood up and said to the wind and the waves, Peace, be still. The wind stopped blowing. The waves were still, the clouds went away, and the stars twinkled again. The boat sailed on the sparkling patch that the moon made on the water and crossed to the other side of the lake. Why were you afraid? Jesus asked his helpers. Why were you afraid when I was with you? Jesus says to the boys and girls today, don't be afraid when the lightning flashes and the thunder crashes and the strong winds blow. I am with you always, says Jesus. In the dark and in the storm, I will never leave you. Don't be afraid. Welcome Marilyn and Suzanne and Kevin and Cindy and Stephen. Um, I think that that was a great story. Thank you, Holly, for the recommendation. 
Um, right now it feels like the lightning of life and the thunder and the strong winds are blowing, but we don't need to be afraid because Jesus says that he will never leave us. So we have another story about singing whales, and then we have a little object lesson called The Hope and Hover. So I was saying before that this is one of my favorite books. It is uh, a great resource and you can get it at the ABC and it is very easy to um, use for both younger kids and older kids. It's um, easy to make that adjustment very quickly. And um, I've used it with VBSs and things where you have maybe toddlers um, or preschoolers and then you also have like 10 to 12 year olds and it um, works very well in a setting like that. So this five minute devotional for kids is called Singing Whales. Many people think that birds are the best singers in the animal kingdom, but you know what kind of animal sings the longest and the most complicated kinds of songs? It's not a tiny bird, but a 30 ton humpback whale. These huge sea creatures are longer than a school bus, and the songs they sing can be heard underwater for 20 miles. Scientists have listened to whale songs with special microphones and have discovered that a group of male whales located in the same area will often sing the same song at the same time. The whale songs contain moans, clicks, chirps, creaks, and groans. Sometimes the songs last for 10 or 15 minutes. No one knows exactly why the whales sing. They could be happy or upset or even in love. Just like the humpback whales, people like to sing too. The Bible tells us that God loves to hear his children sing and make music. Whether our songs are happy or sad, we can enjoy singing them. Making up songs is a great way to share our feelings and even to tell God how much we love him. We have a verse here, Psalm 13, verse 6. I will sing to the Lord because he has been so good to me. And I love that we can sing to God. Uh, I don't know if you've seen some of the videos of people in Italy who are quarantined in their houses, but they're opening the windows and singing together, even though they can't physically be close to each other. Um, and I love that we have the book of Psalm in the Bible that gives us all of these songs and poems that people have read, uh, written, and sung to God, and that the Psalms tell us the full range of human emotion. So one of the reasons I like this five to minute devotions for children book is that it has great pictures, but it also has questions on the left-hand page. So let's go ahead and read some of those questions and maybe you can discuss them at home if you're watching with someone or you can pop your answers up here and I'll read them, whatever works for you. What kind of animal sings the longest songs? What, why do you think humpback whales sing? What kinds of songs do you like best? Can you sing your favorite song? Why do you think God likes to hear his children sing? And once more, I'll read that Bible verse, Psalms 13, 6. I will sing to the Lord because he has been so good to me. It's easy to uh, keep looking at the news and keep seeing more bad things and more schools and uh, churches and states that are closing down things. But it's important to remember that God has still been good to us and that we can sing to him because of that. So last, um, I have something called the Hope and Hover. So it's a little cardboard tube and it has some holes in it and then one end is capped off. And then we have this little guy who fits in the square peg and we have some little balls. So you can see I've drawn faces on them. So here's a person, all right? 
And then here's another person. Okay. So if we blow into our hope and hover, nothing much happens. I've covered up the little holes. But the great thing is, is that hope tends to lift us up. So if you blow in, see that? Hope lifts us up. And sometimes a friend needs some help and we have to give them some hope. And then other times we're the ones who need hope. And our friends help lift us up. But Jesus' love can lift us both up the hope that he gives us. Uh, and just as the air lifts our friends up, the hope we have in Jesus' power and his uh, ability to overcome not only the wind and the waves and the thunder, but also the hard things in life, that hope can lift us both up. And remember that Psalm 31 says, be strong and courageous all you who put your hope in the Lord. So I hope that today you will be strong and courageous and you will remember that Christ is the one who is with you today every step of the way, whether it is through uh, singing and laughter or whether it is through wind and waves and hard things. I uh, am praying for you and please reach out if you need anything. I'm happy to go to the store and deliver things to you if you um, are in one of those high-risk categories and can't come out today. Much love and we'll see you later.